Hello everyone, my name is Mutral and welcome to something new, Quantum Break. So I was not going to play this game or buy this game before it hit very high sale. But then, I, then my friend gifted it to me, so hey, I'm gonna play it, I suppose. Somehow he ended up with two copies of this game and so on, but 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 yeah. I mean, it's from the Finnish Game Studio Remedy Entertainment, and I have to say, I've been playing almost every single game of theirs. Only some iOS game is something I have not tried. And I have to say, the first original Death Rally was fantastic. Both Max Paints, great. Then I quite didn't like the like the oh man, I forget the name. The game uh, Alan Wake, yeah, right, where you have to kill with flashlight, so to say, and uh, yeah, that that felt just a little bit too like a console game. And from the reviews I've seen, this game is 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 kind of good, but uh, not the game of the year good. So, which is obviously a disappointment, probably for them as well as it's for everyone else, but of course, since I have now lower expectations of this game, I might actually enjoy it more. That's how the stuff works, and I've been talking about over a minute about this game, so let's start. Oh, one thing, I'm going to keep the copyrighted music in, so this video might get deleted pretty violently, because I figure that I don't run ads, and if they want to run ads on my videos, I don't care. I would much rather have the original soundtrack than, than, than to not have ads or on my video or something like that. But if they do a copyright strike on my channel, that will be obvious, will be bad. So I do hope that they're just greedy, not stupid, <laughs> as I'm being. So yeah. Well, enough for interaction. Let's do it. I have not seen anything of this game, except for the Optimus menu. So, yeah, let's hit it. Oh. I, I have no clue how hard this game is. Maybe I will start with normal. I think this is more, more like a story driven game anyway, so. I do love a challenge, but maybe not on this type of game. That is very cool. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, Time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I mean, it looks fantastic. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, 
Thanks for the ride. No problem. Oh, that is so pretty. I can see that they really spent some time on those animations. I mean, that was straight up TV quality. Or normal TV series quality, I should say. And I'm not even only on full dead dials because I was kind of scared that the game wouldn't run that well. But apparently we do love loading screens, so yeah. So I'm trying to record this on 60 FPS, but I will see how it turns out. My hunch is that I will do 30 FPS in full run. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Oh, right off the bat, the most sensitive is, seems a little bit slow. Maybe that's on purpose? Like, hmm, controls. Weapon slots, time powers. So yeah, obviously the game is all about all about time traveling stuff. So it's gonna get very, very wacky very, very soon. So there's no more sensitivity, right? Oh, there is. Nice. Let's try 70%. I'm just used to very, very fast mouse. But yeah. Apparently my storage cannot seem to be keeping up with the 60 FPS recording. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna cut the video. I guess I should go find Paul. Here and do a 30 FPS because I'm thinking this will look extremely choppy. So, be right back. Okay, so this looks a little bit better. I doubt he's out here. Better head into the campus. Where'd that guy go? So let's try to concentrate on the game. For some reason, my computer just has some storage issues. Although I have a good RAID, I'm supposed to record. The game, oh, so. Jack! I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. What the heck is this guy? Oh, he's sleeping. Some protest. Okay, so we seem to have some kind of triangle on every interactable guy, at least. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Hey you, take action now. Conserve the library. Babe, can we go home yet? So there has been some kind of... Some kind of protest hey, here. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. The protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of Riverport. Personally, I'm with the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building would be big and shiny, but well, come on, who gives a shit? I love that old library, even if it is kind of falling apart. I like things with character, and Monarch helped. They've got all the character of a brand new smartphone. Sure, call me a hipster, whatever. 
I just think you don't have to be a smug douchebag with organic sneakers and an ironic NASCAR cap to prefer a nice corner restaurant with personality to yet another Olive Garden, you know? Phil, much as it pains me to say this, I think this is a done deal. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow no matter what we say. Might as well pack it up and go home, get ready for the next fight. Cause you know, they aren't done with our town yet, right? Yes, post that for stuff. So, yeah. Come on, Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like the usual student protest. Nobody around, only the few. But, yeah. Even the guy on the radio hates hipsters, so. Let's take one of these. Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. Okay. Oh right, we are telling the story, not, not. Well, I don't know how to figure, how to say it. But you know, everything here is past, and in this game, I suppose everything will be past, future, or present, and present, past, and present, future. I don't know. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Can I ask you? All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. <laughs> sure. Okay, I guess I can ask, ask her. Go ahead, check out the chart. Oh, it's this one. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their <laughs> corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. So, Monarch's problems, they're selling out since 1999. Both of all major tech and security companies in the report using earnings from shady investments. Oh god, that's terrible. Not like that's going to happen every day in every place. Evaded questioning regarding who was truly running Monarch. Oh no. Both of major media outlets, questions stopped being asked. Okay. Both Gull Island tore down war monuments to construct R and D facilities, so research and development. For a moment, I was going to say research and discovery, but I'm not quite sure that's right. Demolished Riverport Central train station to build Monarch Tower. Okay, Brugas entire industrial district and dry docks, putting thousands of people out of work. Aim to demolish Riverport University historical li library to replace it with yet another research facility. So they're a research company. Nobody knows, nobody knows. God, can I just scroll this thing? Wait, what? How does this even work? 2016, this is... Okay, so this is the... Oh, right. The Okay, here's the problem. I thought this bright part was the moving moving slider and this gray area was the where, it, where the slider was not, but apparently I saw almost everything. So great. Just feeling like I need to explain that I'm still I'm just spending my time with this, so if you hate guys who spend their time with games, you probably shouldn't watch this. Sign the petition. 
Expose the lies, find the truth. That's a nice telly. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. <laughs> He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. Hello, Max Payne. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. see and the face that lies beneath in the dark ah oh, that was so max painy and by the way i didn't realize how much he paul had always been hungry for success driven he made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists and now he was coordinating some huge project at the university it's a big deal for him yeah i didn't realize how much that that's the remedies. One of the top guys, I don't actually remember his name, but how much he looked like Max Payne. The main actor there. And Max Payne from the first two games, of course. Hey, protests over. Head home. Now I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your uniform? Excuse me. <laughs> Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Oh, are we a tough guy? We kind of look like a tough guy. Come on. Uh Move along. I just want to buck you. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh. Can we? Okay. So, we're gonna get the rifle butt. That's nice to know. I would run all the way there, but I don't think there's anything there. And it doesn't seem to... Oh, well, there's something here. Dr. Kim Memorial Article. In memoriam, Dr. Henry Kim, PhD, died 65 to 2016. Our dear friend and colleague Henry Kim, PhD, passed away on Friday, February 12th, 2016, at the age of 50. He died young. As a professor at Riverport University, Dr. Kim was praised for his tireless devotion to his field and his students. Both Dr. William Joyce and Dr. Elton Meyer, whose research efforts eventually led to the discovery of the Meyer Joyce field, where his st students, oh, that was the same center. He later made a name for himself as the director of Morax Solutions Psy Pu Ps Psychic <laughs> Physics Research Division. I've been playing XCOM too much. While maintaining this 
position he also contributed heavily to the two research at Riverport. It's not Riverport, it's River Riverport University, leading his services to the development of Project Promenade based on his students' discovery discoveries, which he continued to work on until the time of his death. So he died during that project. Sounds kind of fishy. So we have our typical mad scientist scenario. Hmm. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Paul Serene focus article. Riverport University employee highlight. Paul Serene, project director. With a track record of extremely prof profitable business ventures behind him, Paul Serene joined Riverport University in 2010 to head one of the most significant physics research projects the university has ever seen. So he's immensely important person. He's the youngest project director in the history of our university and by far most successful to date. His involvement has encouraged a flood of high-profile investment that resulted in the extremely ambitious yet unrevealed quantum physics project refer referred to as Project Promenade. Okay. In his own words, I am not a scientist myself and thus it might come, may come as a surprise to many that I fought to obtain the position as Project Director of Development here at the university. For me it's a dream come true. Growing up my best friend was Growing up, my best friend was the brother of renowned quantum physicist William Joyce. I have always been fascinated by William's work and his publications from 1997 to 1999 were groundbreaking for the scientific community. As a businessman, I've been able to help, help shape a path to create practical applications for William's work by building on the foundation he created with a group of immensely talented physicists. Oh man, I'm out of breath already. That was the basis of Project Promenade and the result have been absolutely revolutionary. Paul Serena's favorite sports team is the Riverport Rexes. You can see him from in you can see him front row at every game. Right? I suppose that's how you should say them. So no other things like that. God, if somebody tells that there's something important in that start away, I'm gonna I'm gonna murder someone. No, I'm not gonna but They wouldn't hide a Eastern X down. No, I'm not gonna go there. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce! In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. So we got little finger all right. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. What do we have here? American science. Sport of it? I suppose I shouldn't wander too mo too far off. Yo, Paul, you think you got enough space here? Well, you know, oh. us business types need somewhere to practice our putting. Incident? <laughs> Jesus, Will. What do you do this time? So we're just accessing the gumbo door. The guy is right next to us. I mean, fine. It's not like research and development is secret business or anything. From Haley Shelton. Re. William, or, or reply, I suppose. William Joyce Clarence. To Joseph 
Shehar Hade. <laughs> or I promise what I'm about to show you is far more exciting than the lobby. Shut up. That will be for me to decide. Joseph, I asked and I've got confirmation from our supervisor that Dr. William Joy's security clearance needs to be revoked. Okay. So yeah, the time for termination is scheduled for 4.20 a.m. October 9th, precisely. No idea why that exact time must be a contracting. The guy was consulting on promenade, but he lost his shit in front of investors a few days ago. Okay. I was the one dragging him out. It got pretty crazy. He was yelling about how, how some lady warned him this would happen. No idea what the hell he was about. If it was up to me, I'd cut his clearance immediately, but screw it. They don't want to my you advice. You are making me wait, don't you? Can I do Small pleasures. I don't want to get involved in any of the that monarch stuff anyway. Let's just do our job. So just keep an eye open for Dr. Joyce only then, okay? P.S. Don't feel too bad about it. I heard this guy actually stole some video game. From the break lounge, break lounge, lounge or something. So maybe not somebody we want to running around anyway. God, this is long. Holly Shelton from Joseph Sahara. William Joyce Segre. Haley. Any idea who William Joyce is? Got a strain request to cut his clearance at exactly da da da. Order from order was from Lionberg. Of Monarch security division, so it's the same asshole who will stock hit our uh, headbutt. Not headbutt. He, I, I already forget the term. Anyway, he will hit with his guns stock. So funny. I know they are consulting universal security, but do you have actual authority here? The whole thing seems sketchy to me. Relax, dude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna read that black. Hey, how much did you pay them to put this on display when I got here? Even I'm not that tacky. Paul Serene focus article. <laughs> Report University employee high highlight. Paul Serene project director. Right, this is the same thing. Actually, I'm not gonna read it again. Like there's missing stairs right here, dude. Sizzle. <laughs> In here, Jack. Going up. I suppose I probably can take a look, but it's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. That's so. Hey, Jack, over here. Come on, going up. That sounded a little bit fishy. So he probably did something illegal, as they always do. Protests against Monarch are going strong. I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. <laughs> Yeah, I should give it a try someday too, maybe. But I guess it's not going to happen. Let's oh. take the elevator, Jack. Just a moment, dude. Meet Monarch spokesperson Martin Hatch. Hatch. When I hear the word Hatch, I immediately think about the lost. You're about to graduate and you're looking for the next step. Your future starts here. Monarch Solution is the number one employee of employer of university graduates in Riverport. We are actively seeking new, new employees with various divisions, including energy solutions, security enforcement, marketing, chronon research, robotic engineering, customer service, information technology. Information technology jobs are light. There are no such thing. There's never go, Jack. job on IT Going up. today, it seems. Okay, enough of that rant. <laughs> and an hour of 1 p.m. Similar, similar with Monarch's Martin Hatch. 
to learn the many benefits of working for Monarch Solutions. Be a part of bright new future. Be a part of the Monarch family. So they're selling hard. As the big companies tend to do. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Oh. I guess we will be watching this. I'm not actually sure if we could watch this later alone, but I highly doubt it. I mean, this feels like the kind of game that everything on, is Jack. tightly scripted. I am about to blow your mind. We'll get Moment. to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Dazzle me with your sizzle. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's been explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Huh. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. All right, and he died young, so probably something went wrong. Or they sent him, him back in time. 500 years. <laughs> Okay, we got the security doors. Stone crew, Chrome. I suppose that's some kind of heavy band. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh shit! <laughs> you guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. You always did drag me into these situations. Me, drag you. One word, Utah. Haha, <laughs> all right, touche. And from what I hear, You've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, apparently it's my forte. Huh. 
I see the concept of personal space is still <laughs> foreign to you. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Okay, so this time we actually commented on that. that that's cool. From Balserin Project Promenade Beta Test. Merit is frozen. Okay. Mer we absolutely cannot afford to lose momentum at this point. If we put Project Promenade on hold, then we will lose Jack, every. Come on. Every Chronon specialist on staff overnight. Monarch is paying double the wages we are. It would be an absolute nightmare. Our staff is irre irreplaceable, and I'm struggling to hold on to them, as it is. Okay. I've known William and Joyce since, he, since childhood. There's no doubt that he's a genius, but he also has a history of paranoia and mental instability. Yeah, sounds legit. He's lost sight of the big picture. His concerns regarding Project Promenade are outlandish, unfounded and based on ludicrous conjecture. The only reason we pulled Will in as an advisor is because there are no other qualified specialists available who the investor will trust to sign off on the project now that Dr. Kim is gone. We can't just wait for the board to find a suitable replacement because there are none. Kim approved this vigorous long before his death. I refuse to let Will sabotage everything we're building here. I need you to keep the investors distracted. Buy me time before a final decision is reached. I'll find a way to gather the proof we need in order to proceed to beta testing. Give me 48 hours. I'll make this right. So this is so classical. So classical mad scientist greedy corporation stuff that it's actually kinda classic. Paul, investors have made their decision. Based on William Joyce's concerns, they are halting all funding for Project Promenade until an equally qualified specialist can be assigned to the project to perform further inspection. I did everything I could to sway the vote, but the only board member who voted in your favor was Martin Hatch. We brought up William Joyce's questionable mental health, but the damage was already done. He planted the seed of doubt. Let me know how you wish to proceed. These guys are typical assholes, I suppose. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother. But he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, we're apparently doing something illegal, which is not a surprise. It's research. From Jack Choice, free coming home to Paul Serene. Jesus, that's a long mile. I'll pack my things and head to the airport ASAP. Whatever this is about, just make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Alright. Not the kind of package I need to unpack right now. Paul Serene, coming home. I just booked you a flight from Bangkok to Riverport. First class. Taxi will be waiting for you at the airport when you get here and drive, your drive you straight to the university. I can tell you and any more. I <laughs> let's start again. I can't tell you any more over the over email, but we'll explain everything when you get here. You just saved my life. These aren't the ide ideal conditions for reunion, but can't wait to see you again. Almost two decades as friends, not once have you ever asked for help. This must be bad. You okay? What kind of trouble are you in? Of course, I mean. I'm here for you, man, currently in Bangkok, but I can find a way to Riverport as soon as possible. We'll wait for a we'll wait by a computer for further details. Okay. Jack, you know I'm the last person to ever ask for a favor, but des I desperately need your help, man. Everything I've built here, my entire career, it's all at risk of crashing down if I don't do something. I need to take the only measure that will but 
put this project back on track, but I can't do it alone. I need somebody I can truly trust to help me fix this. Well, where are you right now? I only have 48 hours to set things right. I know Riverport is the last place you want to be, but I can have a flight book for you immediate immediately. I realize this is by no means a small ask, but I'm desperate. I need to know if you're in. Huh. That's probably and creepy. Best of luck. This is broad. Okay, so these chains actually move from bottom to up. Since I now started from the top, I'm suppo I suppose I can start from the bottom. So, to Jack's choice from Paul Serene. Jack, it's been too long. You ever coming home for a visit? The Ocean Sevach Musk Sivich Savs. <laughs> I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Sivich? I mean. Sure. Musk of Riverport is luring you back here. Not the Prague, but they recently deemed the city the coastal Detroit of America. Everybody's thrilled, as you can imagine. <laughs> What's the latest? Where are you now? I'm guessing you're squatting in some Buddhist temple making feng shui bracelets and bruising up on your Bikram. Cultural ignorance. Intentional to aggravate you. Nice. Still waiting for the day I get the call that you need me to bust you out of some shady tape prison. I've got a fund on standby for your in inevitable fuck ups with the law. In all serious stuff, hope you're doing well. Thinking about you. Miss you, man. By the way, this is going to come as a shock. Remember the big projects I told you I'm heading at the university? They want to bring in your pro brother as a consultant for the final stages. Just wanted to let you know before you read it online or something. You'll be reading a lot more about our projects once it goes public very, very soon. It'll be hard to avoid the bus even over there. We both know William can be difficult. Any advice on how to best deal with him? <laughs> okay, so this was September 9th, 2016. So this is September 16th. Moneybags. Navigating my way through Vietnam, heading back to Thailand in the near future. Hope you're keeping that phone stacked because I'm bound to make some bad decisions along the way. Actually, I got in a little bit of a trouble down the, that way already, but I think it's all sort of now. And nobody can mis make the mistake of calling the cops, okay? How's the high life? Saw an article on your recently top 30 entrepreneurs under 30 or something. Still wearing that ridiculous overpriced watch I see. About Will, what can I say really? Clearly I'm not the expert on dealing with my brother. There's a reason we haven't talked in six years. The best advice I can you give you is this. Lose the watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good advice. Okay, Will's in good hands, don't worry. I'll stop wearing the watch when you stop stealing. Fugly Ram status for Sooners from police stations. You'll never let that one go, will you? Okay, so that took three days. The same day, I keep the photo as my phone background. <laughs> Your noble brother still provides me with inspiration. It's all safe. That's borderline creepy. Best of luck finishing up the project. Okay, and then we hear the recruitment speech. Oh, where does this airlock lead? A better question might be, when does it lead? Oh. Well, that's deep. <laughs> I was gonna say the same. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> okay. Destination. So apparently it's not that hard to use. I need you use. to push the lever over there, labeled Chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Wow. 
Can't I examine anything? I suppose not. Yeah, let's hit it. That's just the Chronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, great. It's the first time this is happening. Or turning on, I suppose. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other. It arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Password? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. Oh, All you have boy. to do is hit that switch. Can I not hit the switch? Probably not. Well, goodbye. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. I'm gonna assume that something goes wrong. Oh, that is so cool. Paul! <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you, you just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. <laughs> you need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. 
Uh, so not, yeah. I mean, sure. How the hell do I set it? What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hey, hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. Oh. Okay, so that just happened. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. Well, this looks like everything is fine. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is this? I don't know if you see it. That I just got second achievement. But yeah, it's it's it has been a little longer episode so I'm gonna cut it here and see if I can save the game maybe probably not because it's a console game so saving is for noobs but <laughs> anyway so far I gonna enjoy it it's it's like watching good series but yeah see you on the next episode bye